We have evaluations today. Going into evaluations is a little stressful because there are a lot of people fighting. Tresley, you're up. Cut. Oh. We're supposed to have cut, so hopefully I have a spot after. Your knee okay? Can I see Tudor full, please? Thank you for attempting that, though. Huh? Thank you for attempting that. But I don't want your knee to get hurt, so show me Tudor full. Okay, you got it. Are you sure? That one felt fine. No, it looked like you were about to explode your kneecaps. Yeah. Okay. Um, I threw my one to full, but I landed it all the way around just on one leg, so he had me throw a two to full instead. It was more consistent, so it was probably better to throw it. And then uh, my jumps to tuck, they were good. I'm not really nervous. I hope it goes well. I threw what he asked me to throw, so hopefully that reflected and hopefully they did good for him. My first year on the team, there's a lot of stuff happening. We have six boys here fighting for four spots, and you know, I have no idea what's gonna happen. It's stressful. I can't even have fun. Honestly, I warmed up so much just to get really. Yeah. I wrote a poem in high school. I was going through my old. I moved back at home. I found, a poem. I found a poem in high school. And it says I throw up. And it literally talks about the stresses of cheer and how rewarding it is. It's just too much. I don't know if it's true. Or not. It's like throw up, a soliloquy. Yeah. We started off the season with just me, Alex, Jesus, and then slowly but surely, Orby started talking about another boy. It was a mystery boy, so none of us knew who it was for a lot for a long time. And then he finally decided to post it was Michael Eddy and you know that really just shocked all of us because now we're like, whoa, like there's a there's a chance that, you know, one of our spots might be taken and then, you know, not even a week after hearing Michael Eddy coming back, you know, Kyle came back and with the two boys who have been with the program longer than all of us, they've been here a long time and we know that they have the skills to go out there and perform and hit a routine and that puts a lot of pressure on not just me but all of us to go out there and show that we're capable of living up to the name of Reckless being a world champion and just showing exactly what we can do on the floor. He's better than he left actually. He's stronger than he left. We're in assessments right now. And it's really weird. It's this really weird vibe because everyone's really hyped and everyone's everyone's kind of cheering each other on and getting real like rowdy and crazy and it's awesome. But at the same time, I guess you kind of forget that this this is kind of a big deal. After this, two boys get cut and two girls get cut. A haiku. <laughs> Was it five syllables? Seven and five, right? I threw up a lot. I feel like crap. The end. It hurt my throat. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> it felt like crap. I won worlds. <laughs> <laughs> we won. We won. So epic. <laughs> I haven't really thought about which skills I'm gonna throw. I know he wants to see one to doubles, so I got that one on lock. He said we're gonna do combo passes to doubles. That one I'm a little bit more nervous for because I've only warmed up one, and it's pretty generic, Arabian through to double. I'd like to push my old skills a little more, but it's gonna take some time to get back to them. I can't be focusing on like these other dudes. Like I need to be able to like better myself and not try to compare myself to the other people because clearly I'm not gonna compare to someone who throws whip doubles and stuff. Like it's clearly this body's not gonna do that. her today so we'll see how that goes there's boys that can tumble better so I'm kind of like on the wait list 
we'll call it. I'm like a team player and I'm a good sport and I feel like my personality is a hard worker and one that kind of fits with Reckless. So I'm just here because I love cheer and trying to do it every day. You know, it's a passion. I want to go first and I want to sit down. <laughs> I just want to get it over with so I can just like stop stressing. They should go. They should make me go first because I have my favorite. Honestly, like... <laughs> Hug, actually, he made a TNT. He didn't make Reckless, but at one point or another, he tumbled, he twist. He had everything he needed to be on Reckless. He just took some time off and kind of lost all his tumbling. So he asked me if it would be okay to work out with TNT and then come in and work out with Reckless. And so that's what he was doing for the summer. Unfortunately, everybody on Reckless already has their tumbling, so I can't be waiting for someone to tumble. With that said, Huck can outstunt any boy that I have on Reckless right now, so it kind of puts me in a bind. I'm a little nervous for the, the, the stunt, just because I only get one. I only get one, I feel pretty good. Okay. I'm nervous, but I kind of already know where I am in the rank of the boys. I mean, I'm obviously pushing myself to be on the team, but they're great athletes out there. Yeah. Enrique, you're up! Uh, hey. Hey. Huh? Don't make it look too easy, bro. Don't make it look too easy. Think about the cancels. One, up, two, and three. That's four and five, six and seven, up, eight. I don't think I've ever been close to any of the boys on the team. Like, I feel like I've only been at two practices, and we're just cracking jokes at each other. We're talking smack. Coach's Let's go, favorite. Enrique, before Christmas, bro. We're trying to go. Coach's favorite. Wow! He landed with his chest. Did you see how crooked he went? I'll take that one to double. Did you Did you see how crooked it was though? No, just kidding. Did you do that in my sleep, bro? Did you see his? But it's all love, and, it, and it's all it's all good. It's all fun, and. And you can just tell, like, I don't know, I feel so close. Like, it's hard to explain. It's good. I'm excited. It's gonna be fun. One, that's two, and three, and four, and a five, up six. Wow! Hey. I think he just sharded. <laughs> And Huck, you're up. Dude, just get all the way to the edge because you travel long. Stay on the edge because you travel long. So two or three or whatever you want to tuck, lay out, whatever it is that you got, don't die, that's all. I'm nervous, they all have doubles and I'm not doubling, so that kind of puts me towards the end of the boys. Like in cheerleading, you never know when there's an injury or you need somebody to step in for choreography or just to need an extra body on the floor. So I'm trying to show that I really have that passion and commitment that they're looking for. And if I'm an alternate all the way to Worlds, then I'm an alternate to Worlds and uh, I'm happy with that too. Boys, line up! B boys, line up! Grab your partners! It's listen, ultimately is whatever you want to show me. If a target is what you got, a target. If it's a toss lip, ball up lip, ball up stretch, toss cupid, whatever it is that you worked on, that's what I want you to show me. Minimum toss target, that's minimum, okay? I was like, why am I nervous? Like, I've done this for 10 years already. This, is, this would be my 11th season. I'm like, why, you know, why am I nervous? Like, what, I, I don't know what's going on. I feel like today's really gonna determine how we do under pressure, and that's gonna play a huge part into his decision making. So I knew Enrique when he was like on a restricted level five team. He, he wasn't good enough to make Smoed, um, wasn't even considered to make Smoed. And then and the next thing you know, the kid comes in, works every day, works his butt off, 
and you just see like this huge jump in talent and you're like, oh dang, okay. It's weird because you know, they were the generation before me on Snow It, so, and I'm like, that's wild because they were who I was before I was. They were the people that everybody looked up to. And now to be able to be on a team with them and try to connect with them while trying to fight for a spot with them, it's something pretty cool. It's something that I never thought I'd be in a position to do. Try it again. All right, guys, get a drink. We all basically have the same skills, and now it basically comes down to what are we need in the team and what are we want. We we can all tumble, we can all partner stunt, we can all jump. It's now what are we need and what's gonna fit. Right after Cali Super Camp this year, we had a lot of changes to the team. I'm excited because we have some new upgrades and we changed some skills in the Elite, but for the most part, like the rest of the team was the same, but we just have to get consistent and start hitting. So last year at Cali Slow, I had just come off a win. In 2018 at World, the World Championships, we had brought back our title. Um, we went into the 2019 season looking forward to a wonderful year of, you know, a new team, a new roster, and really trying to go for our second uh, gold win in a row once again. And unfortunately, it didn't really happen that way. Don't make a skill five times harder for you, okay? You're almost there, keep going. Good job over here, I know we hit one over here, good job. This year is changing a lot, so I think last year really did teach us a lot of lessons. Uh, some tough ones and some really good ones as well. So we had a couple girls filling in for camp because I think we thought a couple girls would come back, but um, they didn't come back, so we were, were short two flyers. Well, Malia's just taking a break right now. Um, we don't know for sure if she's coming back because she's just trying to like recoup. It was super nice having her on camp because I'm familiar with her. Obviously, I didn't have to get a new flyer. I'm hoping she comes back so I don't have to switch flyers and have this whole thing happen again. At camp, we're basically switching through two different stunt groups, two different sets of bases for my group. Um, we just have like a lot of people on the team and we're trying to figure out what groups work best together. And it's just kind of a filtering process to see what works best. I feel like it's my job to step in and be like, hey, you can do it. Try to give them the best confidence that I can. But I just want them to remember that, remember how great they are and where they come from, and just remember that, like, we have their backs. They have to just keep pushing. Eddie. Hi, Eddie. Hi. Hi. Did you see their um, high floor on highs? Yeah, they kicked butt. They were doing really, really great today. They kicked We conditioned real hard, and we did really good jobs, and then we stunted for a little bit, and now we're having a heart-to-heart -heart about ready to go home. And I know you guys are going through a process right now where we're looking for other people and choir, et cetera, et cetera. But really good job tonight. Really, it's very important that you guys really try your best to come together and be on the same page about things. Coach Cassidy, she actually got accepted to Fresno State, which is great for her. I'm so excited for her to pursue what she really wants to do, which is a viticulturist, right? Viticulture, but what? study of wine. So I um, I applied to go to school at CSU Fresno for fall for 2019 and I got accepted to their analogy program out there so I'm going to school to make wine. That's been my dream since I was a kid and I'm moving out of here and I'm gonna be three and a half hours away from this gym which is gonna be crazy because I live 10 minutes away. She came to us a long time ago and said this was her plan and we looked at her and rolled our eyes because she has a million plans but she followed through 
and she made it happen. No, I'm not gonna be here, obviously, every day. I'm starting next week, I you. And it's just, it's really important. I'm not gonna be able to have these conversations like I always have with you guys. And you're gonna have to rely on yourselves. I'm not gonna be here to do this for you. Time's ticking, it's just like, every second I'm like, oh my God, that's one less second, I have two weeks. Yeah, it's it's just a crazy feeling. It's, it's very different than I felt before, because I think in the past I've always said like, Oh, I'm not going to cheer again, which you've all heard many times. And for a long time, I was a lot of kind of just chirp and a lot of talk about it. And I never felt like I could actually do it. And I kind of felt, I felt a lot of, I didn't really feel motivated. Like things like Lexi's saying, like, just don't cheat, right? That's something you should already all know. So don't leave time and be like, oh my God, I can't believe Lexi f call people out and don't cheat. Like, shut up. Just don't cheat. It's hard. Cassidy is kind of like, how does that saying go, the double-edged sword? Is that a thing? Yeah. We love her. She's an OG. She's like a Lauren or a Michael Eddie. She's been with us from day, day, day one. But she also has a mouth on her that we have to control. Sometimes you're gonna, people are gonna get in each other's faces and yell and scream, and that's just the way it is. That was me. All that. And we have a lot of new kids that don't know how I used to be, but I was the biggest bitch you'd ever have met. Regardless, that's her daughter, and everything she knows, we've taught her. And when she told us that she was moving to Fresno. My heart was broken. Even though I played it cool and I was like, thank God, finally we got rid of you, do something with your life, blah, blah, blah. I was dying on the inside, because that's my daughter. I don't know any different. With everything going on, it's just, it, it's been really tough for Orby and I to constantly be in the gym and constantly be on top of everyone and do what they're supposed to and move in the direction they're supposed to. So I just, I thank God for Cassidy. She's really kept this team this gym together. She started as my assistant coach and now she's like my co-coach. So she is freaking awesome. I am really proud of her. Right foot in to win. Who wants to pray? Hey, Greg. Hey, do you have any blessings you give us today? Um, I just want to thank for Cassidy and all the time we have with her. Just please bless our team with her and remind us how much her loves and that we're enough. We're pray, amen. Amen. Love you, kiddos. Love you, Jackson. It's going to be really hard you know, leaving this Moed legacy because kind of that's what I've been wrapped up in for so long. It's just like, you know, you're cheering, you're on the floor with your friends and you're you're living this beautiful dream and you're on cloud nine, you're on the highest mountain because you're on California All Stars Moed. So having to kind of say goodbye to that and I guess not goodbye, but to see you later and to put it on pause for a little bit is going to be really difficult. But um, I'm finally in a place in my life where I've just, I, fi I finally found myself in such a great light. Um, it's taken me a while to get here and, and truly love myself and embrace who I am in my own skin. I miss coaching, I miss, you know, being around the kids. I think just coming to the space, being around Eddie and Orby and Andrea and my staff, um, just, you know, my, my California All-Star staff, I really will miss so much. The reason why I've gotten to where I am at today is because of all those people. You know, the Tanaz and Reese and Robbie have taught me so much about just like, self-love and, and motivation and just perseverance through all the hardships and stuff. So just walking in and having their loves around me all the time. Family nice and proud. Nice and loud. Oh, <laughs> Family on three. Ready? One, two, three. Family! I'm just really grateful for the experiences. I'm grateful for the kids. I'm grateful for Frost and Missy to do this and just um, be our family through this all. And, Grateful for just all of it. And I will never take it for granted because I don't know what I would do without truly being. I don't know what I would have done without California All Stars. I would be in a really low place and I would probably be on the streets and not here. And yeah, I just thank you guys and I love you and I'll be back one day. I promise. Unfortunately, at camp we had. Uh athletes new and returning that made poor decisions and it really affected our roster. It put us in a position where you know we had to lo lose some good people. Every time someone leaves like you first find out at the practice when they're not there and everyone's like oh what happened to them? <laughs> So when Eddie and I decided to throw this birthday party, he decided he wanted a big party and I wanted a small party. Um, he won. Of course whenever Orby has an idea, he just runs with it, and then 250 people later. I quit cheer to become a horse rider. <laughs> yes. 